shadow shaping on focusing lights. The best known and most commonly used tool is the barn door. Let's just take a look at different versions of barn doors. The simplest version has usually four leaves. Two of those are larger, the other two are in a trapezoidal shape. By closing the large barn door leaves, you can create a bar-shaped strip of light. Sometimes the angle to which the large leaves can be closed is limited by the shape of the small barn door leaves. The small barn door leaves can be placed outside the large leaves, thus the large leaves can shape a very narrow slit. In some other positions where the large leaves are opened wider, the small leaves will not cover the gap between the two big leaves. In general, we can take note that with focusing lights, the shadow edge created by the barn door will be more distinct when the light is in the flood position. The more the light is focused towards the spot position, the less distinct or even completely without function are the barn doors for light shaping. The eight-leaf barn door. This is a version of a barn door where the smaller leaves have folding helper leaves and thus can better close the gap left by the wider angle of opening of the larger barn door leaves. This is a noticeably more useful version of a barn door. In most applications on the front end of the barn door, the shape of light exit can be accommodated better to form a closed box without unwanted gaps between the large barn door leaves and the small ones. Further back on the barn door, even this construction leaves some gaps, which in most cases are not really disturbing. And there's yet one more complex version of a barn door with a total of 12 leaves. This is to be found in the Daedalite range called DBD2, Daedalite Barn Door Number 2, or our museum barn door. Again, we have two larger leaves, and the small leaves each have two helper leaves attached to which are helper helper leaves which serve to close the gap even towards the back of the barn door. Thus it allows to shape a variable closed box shape with practically no stray light exiting. In order to make the operation of this complex barn door easier, the smaller helper leaves and the helper helper leaves are spring-loaded so that always self-adjust in order to close the gap towards the bigger leaves without additional help. Parallel barn door leaves. It is typical for barn doors that the leaves are parallel towards each other. In professional practice, though, it is not usual that lighting instruments shine totally horizontal. In most cases, the lighting instruments will be placed higher up, looking downwards. Now, shining downward from such a high position, the parallel barn door leaves do not perform parallel shadows. But the shadows will be further apart towards the floor than they are at the top. Thus, the shadow shape is not square, not with shadows parallel to each other, but in a trapezoidal shape. That's physics. This is unavoidable, and it should have been well known for more than a century. Still, the only solution to this has been offered by Dado's patent concerning rotating barn door leaves. According to this patent, all barn door leaves can be rotated in an axis parallel to the optical axis. Thus, it can be shaped into a variable trapezoidal shape, which can accommodate any angle of downward-looking lights 
still giving parallel shadow shapes, which are more suitable to do something called light framing of architecture, doorways, artwork, and many other common subjects which in our world are usually constructed with parallel verticals. For critical, demanding, precision lighting purposes, this can be a good practical and easy to perform solution. The next subject concerns unwanted and sometimes disturbing reflexes from the inside of barn door leaves. Barn doors are usually black, but this does not eliminate reflexes. There is no commonly available black surface or coating that absorbs light completely. Now, as an example, you're placing a light fixture to shine parallel, parallel to a white or brightly colored wall. Then you try and limit the exit of the light with the barn door and the inside of the barn door leaf will reflect a significant portion of the light towards the side of the light and will become visible on the white wall. In many lighting situations this can be neglected but when demanding precision lighting is wanted it has so far been pretty much impossible to eliminate such reflexes. In order to minimize or eliminate such unwanted parasitic light, extra instruments have to be placed often on separate stands, flags, gobos, to prohibit such disturbing effects. The Daedalite 12 leaf museum barn door has at the distant end of the big leaf a lip that is curved inward and serves to eliminate part of these unwanted reflections. Furthermore, the surface coating has a very rough surface, which again helps to minimize these reflexes, but cannot eliminate them. In a special new version of the Daedalite barn doors, the large leaves are constructed with a sawtooth shaped pattern, which catches most of the light that would otherwise be reflected and exit sideways as parasitic light. This patented surface shape, together with a matte black coating, eliminates practically all of these disturbing parasitic light. In the aforementioned example, where the light exit is shining parallel onto a bright wall, this new barn door will be functional when the large leaves are placed vertically, because only the large leaves of the special barn door carry the special structure. As you can see, there may be a little bit more to barn doors than you might have thought or known originally. All of this may give you a little introduction to some of our thoughts and available tools and instruments and toys for light shaping.